It's gonna be a frantic moment. He's unconscious. A lot of people want to go out and help. Stop! He's unconscious. And you, we're expecting you to let us do our job and uh, perform that since we have the suits that keep us safe. We've got the crews out here today to basically work on their ice rescue techniques. Uh, we learned a couple um, new techniques at Dive Rescue last year, so we're bringing that to the crews this year. The biggest thing is incorporating the board now into our rescues. Um, no matter what the situation, when we go down there, we want shore support to pretty much hook this board up into the system, and then you as the rescuer can decide if you want to use it or not. We try to make it out here at least once a year uh, to get crews familiar with the suits again and familiar with the rescues. Uh, we do a lot of training in-house as well of just the systems that we use to perform the ice rescue. This is going to be thinner ice because of the depth of the water. So keep that in mind when you're on scene or whatever in your shore support, start getting that stuff down here for your patient. First steps, you got to basically try to make contact with that person who's on the ice right away. So we'll send some guy down right to the ice, to the edge. Um, and start talking with the patient. Um, at that point, they're assessing if they're able to aid in their own rescue or if we're gonna have to send someone out there. And so we'll just throw two guys out there at a time. One will be the rescuer and one will be the victim and they'll work on the techniques and then switch off. When someone's harnessed to go in, uh, we basically have a, a haul team who's gonna basically haul this rope back up. And when someone gets in the hole and basically wraps around their patient, that haul team has to pull the patient and the rescuer out of the water. Um, and then depending on the length of travel, they're going to be pulling them across the ice. So it takes a lot of guys on that haul team. It takes a lot of communication. We have hand signals that we do. This is basically go and we have stop. So there's a haul team that's looking for the rescuer to give those signals so they know what to do. If someone witnesses someone going on the ice, definitely stay away from the ice. It's, it's already an unsafe um, environment and that's why the person has fallen through the ice. We don't want you to go out there and try to make the rescue yourself because uh, there's a good chance that then you become a victim. And it's a lot harder to, uh, to rescue multiple people in these circumstances. So if you see it, we basically want you to get away from the shore, keep an eye on the person that's out there um, so that you have a good visual just in case that person does go under uh, because crews are gonna come to you first and try to get a, an idea of exactly where that person was. Um, and then also help with making sure other people don't go onto the ice. All right.